I always have to look to see if anybody's out there. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I have been so quiet the past few months. I really, really wanted it to be my goal to make a video every week, at least or every two weeks each month at the start of the year. But I'll be completely honest with you, I've had a bit of a weird year for me because me going travelling and everything is really kind of mess with my head a little bit and I'm still going obviously but it's it's just been a bit weird for me and I just needed some time to really you know be with myself and think about what I want but anyway I just wanted to apologize for that and I hope that in the future you know I'll stay positive minded and keep going and keep driving for the dreams that I want to achieve so anyway today I wanted to talk to you about this vegan it's definitely vegan this vegan body butter that i made i have eczema and i suffer with it quite bad on my arms and i really was sick and tired of going to the doctors and getting prescribed creams because they're, they're always full of chemicals and some of the creams was like a steroid cream and they would make my skin thin so I'd have to be careful on how much I used and I wanted to switch more towards zero waste instead of buying loads of products all the time I can just make my own at home so I'll buy a big bulk load of products and then put them in these glass jars which I actually prefer because they look cuter and you just appreciate it more because you've made it yourself so this is what it looks like on the inside you'll see how I make it step by step coming up but I just wanted to show you what it looks like now so that you have a rough idea but I'll show you at the end anyway um, it's really easy to make you literally just need four ingredients and there is cocoa butter shea butter coconut oil and I put hemp oil in it this time I last time I made this I put sweet almond oil in it and it was really really nice I liked it but I just wanted to try something a little bit different this time and do you know what it's worked wonders on my eczema and this is also a really good present to give someone so I actually made this with a sweet almond oil for my sister for her birthday and I also made her a mini face cream which I will also do in one of my videos soon but I know my sister wants another jar because she's going to be doing my dreadlock so that's another new thing that's going to be coming up is I'm going to be getting a whole head of dreads before I go away which I'm really really excited about anyway I'm speaking too long let's crack on with the video so yeah if you want to see how I make this amazing body butter then please stay tuned and I will take you through it step by step okay guys so firstly I'm going to be using coconut oil secondly I'm going to be using cocoa butter this smells like chocolate and honestly you just want to eat it it's, it smells so good and thirdly, I'm going to be using shea butter. And then the fourth ingredient, you can either choose between sweet almond oil or hemp oil. I went for hemp this time. Last time I used sweet almond oil. And to be honest, both of them work as good as each other. So you choose. You choose. So I'm going to need a pan to make this cream. And I'm also going to need a glass bowl, which is where you put all your oils in, which you'll see. Then I'm going to be using a whisk to whisk it all up at the end. Or you can either use an electric one or a hand whisk, but preferably go for an electric. And then I'm going to need a glass jar to put it all in at the end. So now you want to head over to your kettle, switch it on, let it boil. And then, then you need the water, basically. You need the water. Okay, now you've got your water boiled, get your pan, you get your water in your pan, you get your bowl on your pan. Just make sure that you don't fill the water up too high in the pan so that it doesn't touch the bottom of the bowl and obviously make sure you turn your cooker on so that it heats. Oh my god, and my coconut oil which I've just splashed everywhere. Oh my, oh my, oh my. I just spilled coconut oil all over my top which is good. Not. So I kind of go by eye with this my jar is about 500 mil i would say roughly so i'm just going to stick in what i think looks right so i'm going to go with the shape the cocoa butter first because it is chunks and it does take a lot longer to melt see let's put that big chunk in there the last time i did this i measured everything but i ended up having too much product right and then the shea butter is a little bit more solid so i'm gonna get myself a spoon the coconut oil is completely melted because it's a really hot day And then my coconut oil, which I could literally pour in there. I'll tell you what, I'll scoop. Okay, so now what you want to do is mix all your three ingredients together. And next we're going to add the hemp oil instead of the sweet almond oil. And I did forget to say as well, guys and gals, I always say guys, I need to stop saying guys, there's girls as well, um, that I will be listing all these products below. I'll link them to the website that I've got them from. So right now what I'm doing here is I'm just measuring out about 30 
ml of hemp oil i found this little jug in my mum's kitchen so i was like do you know what i'm gonna use it so yeah i'm just looking at it now probably telling you as well because um i thought i was gonna actually read to the camera read to the camera i thought i was gonna talk to the camera but turns out i didn't and i think what i did here is i added an extra little 15 mil so another half as you can see as you can see this is quite a green oil as well so it does turn your cream slightly green um with uh the sweet almond oil your cream just looks like butter but with this it does make it give it gives it like a weird greeny tinge so now what i'm doing now with my arm right in the way well done lauren so i'm just mixing my ingredients together so we're basically just going to wait for all of the ingredients to melt all up and as you can see i am talking to the camera right there but i decided to do it differently and i like to throw my arms around when i talk basically so yeah now we're just going to wait for our ingredients to melt so this is what the oils look like all melted up together uh, this actually solidifies massively you'll see in the next clip but this is what you want it to look like obviously you want those little bits floating around there to, to have melted you just got to kind of stand there and mix it until it goes like this basically okay so next i'm gonna remove the bowl from the pan make sure you wear your oven mitts ladies and gentlemen because trust me it is very 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 hot and you do not want to burn yourself now I'm turning off the oven and I'm just going to leave it there for about 25 minutes, let the bowl cool down and then I'm going to stick it in the fridge. Depending on the coldness of your fridge, this will need to be in there for a couple of hours for it to completely solidify, which you'll see in the next clip. So here you can see that my cream is completely solidified after a few hours in the fridge. It's hard to touch, if you can see here. Um, so now what you want to do is grab your whisk and whisk it. Okay, so I've got my whisk. Now the last time I whisked this up, right, I whisked it with ha by hand, sorry, and I got blisters, so I bought this. This was only about £6 from Amazon, and I don't know whether it will go everywhere, but we'll give it a try. Taking ages. Can you imagine me doing this by hand, Kim? That would be mad. It was really hard. You see it's going into a butter. How did I do this last time? <laughs> it probably wasn't as hard, was it? Yeah. Oh. So this whisking can take up to about 15 minutes altogether with an electric hand whisk. Definitely advise getting one of these. I've got mine from Amazon and I'll link it below. But honestly, if you use a hand whisk, you'll be sat there for about an hour. Trust me. I'd actually get a spoon. Probably take a bit. Yeah. So you basically just want to keep whisking until it looks like this, guys and gals, uh, until it's soft, buttery, and looks just like butter icing. So now it's time to fill our jar up with our cream. This is the exciting bit, and I actually think I made just the right amount to fill my jar. My jar's about 500 ml, like I said at the start. Um, and this, honestly, this amount was actually perfect, and that was all by eye as well. So guys and gals, don't worry about how much you're putting in there. If you have more left over than just stick it in a spare jar that you have anyway um but this has honestly worked perfectly um like i said at the start of my video i will link all of the ingredients below and i will obviously link the website where i got them from i will say the only downside about where i got my ingredients from is the fact that they all come packed in plastic packaging but in the long run it lasts longer it's less waste really because the amount of creams that i used to use but what can you do at least i'm doing my little bit for the environment but please if you have any questions about this cream please just pop them below and i will answer them as best i can hi guys welcome back i hope you really enjoyed that video i hope you learned something new for it and i do hope that you also at least try and make it yourselves because trust me, you won't regret it. If you've got itchy, dry skin like mine, it is an absolute dream. Trust me, it really is. My sister absolutely loved it. Unfortunately, her dog ate it. <laughs> she came upstairs and noticed that the whole jar had been cleaned out because her dog Luna decided to lick the whole lot. I'm not surprised because it smells like chocolate. I hope that you all are intrigued and you enjoyed this video something a little bit different but i really wanted to share that recipe with you and how i made it i do also want to just put it out there that i actually got this recipe off of a girl called trash is for tosha 
her trash is for tossers now she is all about the zero waste movement and i will link her channel below because i've got to give her the benefit of the doubt for this because she actually made me go do you know what i'm gonna make my own cream from now on but i just changed up the recipe a little bit and i made my own face cream which isn't obviously in this video but it will be in a video coming up i just put whatever ingredients i wanted together i just basically got her way of making it and just chucked in a load of products that i like so that will be coming up soon i'm really sorry again for being so quiet recently it's just been a little bit weird for me and i'm hoping that that will change from now onwards positive mind positive attitude and i'm gonna get to the end of this year smiling all the time and enjoy my time here in the uk all right thank you so much for watching guys give it a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video it will support me greatly and peace out <laughs>